Welcome to this video. I'm going through a blog that I've just upgraded to WordPress 2.5 to give you an idea. You'll notice first off the login page is totally different. The total color schemes in 2.5 have changed drastically. You'll notice here too that we have a huge difference in the way the back end looks. Uh, your major items are over to the left the things that you only use once in a while like settings, plugins, and users. A couple clarifications. Settings is the old option so when you go here you're going to see the same type of items as you saw under options. Plugins and users are the same. Uh, you'll find that the color scheme can be changed. Uh, I kind of like the pale blue rather than the, the dark blue but we can go back to the uh, writing area because here's where some of the bigger changes have taken place. This this could be quite confusing to you the first time you go in here especially if you use the plugins that I like. Okay now I don't use the uh, WYSIWYG on, on, on my blogs as a, as a general rule but you have now have add media. They've in, in put in a lot of media stuff into the actual script. Your posts work the same, but your tags, you need to do that through a separate box. You don't have the line that you had. Your categories are also below. The all-in-one SEO pack has moved down because of that. Uh, your podcasting would be the same. Yeah that way. The other thing is now instead of publishing from underneath your publish is off to the side. And they also have optional links if you want to go check your manage your comments or posts or categories or view drafts while you're here but currently this is unpublished. So it's quite a bit different that way. You can also do your pages here but more importantly, your links, which used to be called blog roll, are here. So again, you're going to have a little bit different look to it as to how you fill it out as far as name, web address, description. These are the big changes here. Uh, design is the old presentation key so that some of the names have changed, but design makes sense for what you're doing. One of the biggest changes in design though is in the widgets. They're no longer drag and drop. Okay, you can add them by just clicking to move them over. You don't drag and drop. So if I wanted to add a tag cloud, I could add it there. Okay, you also edit everything from here and you need to save your changes again. So you can use this a little bit differently. Now let's go look at one of the big things I've seen is the plugins. Besides the look being different, okay, I'm not using Sociable anymore but if I were I can actually either click on here and it'll take me to the page where I can download the plugin or I can click an upgrade automatically. If you do that you'll have to go in put your FTP information in and click proceed and it will actually take care of everything for you which is which is not a bad little uh, addition for it so that you don't have to go chase down the plugins unzip them and then put them up uh, likewise you can you know and you can see every time you come in anything that's been upgraded your settings are basically the same as your old options it's just a little bit l different in the layout but you'll have the same items to do and the other big thing is in manage for the media one of the things they've done is you can manage your media library now this is a bad site because the only thing I have up is the little blog desk button that was put up and that's not listed anywhere but it'll show you here you can see all the images that you've uploaded 
to your particular blog so that if you want to link them or, or whatnot you can find them easily and you get a little preview look at what the image is if it had been put in a post it would show where it appears finally you can't see it here because there aren't any comments pending but when you log in you'll see a little number right in this area if there are pending comments to be approved so when you come in all in all I've been very happy with WordPress 2.5 I've had about 10 items that I've upgraded through the plug-in item uh, eight of them worked two of them didn't it may have been just a server glitch I, I haven't done enough of them yet to be sure uh, it does work most times eight out of ten isn't bad it's still a lot easier than having to go make the download unzip the file and put it in the proper place and come back and turn it on to let them handle it all uh, be interesting to see how it goes from here and like I said I've been very impressed with 2.5 to this point I have not had any plug-in compatibility issues as of yet at least with the plugins that I use uh, probably within the next week I'll start recommending people to upgrade